To find out the last two digits of this number, all we have to do is to divide this number by 100 and find out its remainder. For example, if it's 315, if we divide that by 100, the quotient would be 3, the remainder would be 15. That's the last two digits. So that's a big number. So first, let's look at smaller numbers. That's 9 to the power of 9. Right, that can be written into 10 minus 1 to the power of 9. Are equal to each other. Of course, congruent sign, also fine. But now we can use binomial expansion. I say that's congruent to 9 choose 1 times 10 times negative 1 to the power of 8 plus negative 1 to the power of 9. In other words, this is its remainder. Why? Because all the other terms are essentially multiple of 100, because they all contain 10 to the power of some whole number that's bigger than or equal to 2, obviously from binomial expansion. So, <clears throat> so that's 9 times 10, 90, 90 minus 1, so that's 89 mod 100. Likewise, 9 to the power of 10 is congruent to 10 minus 1 to the power of 10. Congruent, the same logic, right? same logic as this one. 10 choose 1 times 10 times negative 1 to 9 plus negative 1 to the power of 10. But this is also multiple 100, so this can be ignored. So congruent to 1 mod 100. Those two will be useful. So right now, 9 to the power of 9, since its remainder is 89, so it can be written into 100 times some positive integer plus 89. I think it's mod 100, right? That's the same thing. So 9 to the power of 9 to the power of 9 can be written into 9 to the power of 100k plus 89. Right? That can be written into 9 to the power of 100k times 9 to the power of 89. But what's, what's this number? Since 9 to the power of 10 is congruent to 1, so raised to the power of 10k on both sides. 10k. 1 raised to the power of 10k is still 1. No problem. Mod 100. So 9 to the power of 100k. Essentially, just replace this by 1. Right? In fact, multiply both sides by this number. So essentially, this is just obviously 9 to the power of 89. Right? Mod 100. But before we put mod, let's see. This can be written to 9 to the power of 80 plus 9. So 9 to, times 9 to the power of 9. Right? Power rule. So this number is what? I say this number because 10 to 9 to the power of 10 raised to the power of 8 on both sides. <clears throat> right? 9 to the power of 10 to the power of 8. Still congruent to 1 to the power of 8. Still 1. Mod 11. Okay. So again, this can be replaced by 1. So this is essentially 9 to the power of 9, mod, 11, mod 100. But 9 to the power of 9 already has a remainder of 89, congruent 89, as I worked out right, previously, mod 100. So this will be useful, triple 9. Triple 9 is congruent to 89. Let's remember that. So four nines, right, our ideal number. 9 to the power of 9 to the power of 9 to the power of 9. Now can be redeemed to 9 to the power of triple 9 congruent to 89. So likewise, it can be written into a multiple of 100. 
some positive integer n plus 89. But let's look at this form. Same form as this one. Different positive integer k or n. But essentially the idea is the same. Right? Such form always congruent 89 mod 100. No problem. So congruent to 89 mod 100. Right, so the last two digits is just 89. 